see is that I am slowly moving the wax over the plate and it's going a dull grey but after a while what's happening it is going to go a shiny black so you will see the reflection of the flame oh, I see, yes. in the ground. That's how you tell that you've done it enough because it's called an enamel ground. It's a very old fashioned name for it. So it looks like shiny wet black paint. Can you see what's happening yes, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to do that all over. So I'm starting at the lower point. Mm -hmm. I'm holding the wax so the hot wax doesn't drip down my hands. If you're nervous, you can wear the gloves. And what happens is that the wax combines with the carbon from the tapers. And it's a very, very tough surface. But it's still sensitive to drawing. It makes things last a lot longer in the acid. It means you can wrap it up in newspaper and take it home and draw on it later and it will be perfectly fine. Okay, this never, is never, never ever, ever touch the plate with the tapers, otherwise the wax sticks to it. And you have to start all over again. Oh, I see the black shiny surface now. Yeah. So if you've read the books about printmaking, have you read any yeah. books about printmaking? I've, I have, but I've not, this is not something I've read on This there, will be actually. in the books, the proper way to do it. So I might as well finish it as I'm on my knees, unless you want to have a practice. Um, no, you're okay. So all the time as I'm looking for the quality of the reflection, and I'm keeping it moving. You can over-smoke it. If you do it too much, it goes grey and sooty again. Oh, okay. And you've got to start again. Oh, right, okay. It's just being able to get it to the shiny surface, and, and that's, that's it. it. Yeah shiny wet black paint not brown because you're fighting the colour of the copy so it's easier in a white piece of metal like zinc or in steel it's easier to see that you've got it do you uh, do the same with silver as well with a hard, it's a hard ground a hard ground this doesn't matter what metal it's it a hard matter. ground is what you want yeah right okay and it's not easy to tell if you have a thick ground, you mm -hmm. can you can smoke it thickly, but you won't be able to draw a fine drawing. If you have it too thin, you can do a fine drawing, but it won't last so long in the acid. So.